Professional songwriters understand a crucial thing about writing great lyrics, and I'm going to tell you what that is. I'm going to show you some examples, and I'm also going to show you two free online resources that you can access to help you write lyrics like a pro. I started teaching other songwriters to write better songs when I was assistant professor at the Berklee College of Music and in the 13 years since, I have taught thousands of students to improve their song craft and honestly there is this one thing that is so clearly a difference between beginner songwriters and professional songwriters or even songwriters who are really levelling up their craft and that thing is how they use rhyme and beginners tend to use rhyme all wrong. So a beginner might come up with a beautiful line like the stars poke holes in the night and when they go about rhyming that they will rhyme the word night with something like flight, height, might, kite, right. This is a misunderstanding of how rhyme works, why we rhyme at all, and also the process that you need to go through to actually find rhymes that are going to make your lyrics sound original, surprising, and shockingly natural. Understanding how to rhyme properly, and I promise I'm going to show you how to do it in a minute, is how you get lines like this. I've been under scrutiny, you handle it beautifully. Gravity's holding me back, I want you to hold out the palm of your hand, why don't we leave it at that? See, the thing is, if you don't actually know how to find good rhymes, your song lyrics are going to continue to sound amateurish, and I don't want that for you. I want your songs to be better. So let's dive in and find out how to do it. So the first most important thing to understand about rhyme and how rhyme works is that rhyme happens at the vowel. It's all about the vowel. The consonant sound at the end of the word doesn't actually matter at all. That's not where rhyme happens. It all happens in the vowel sound. So let's take a look at this lyric again and see that in action. The rhyming words here are back, hand, and that. What I want you to notice is that the vowel sound, that ah, ah, ah sound, is the thing that creates the rhyme. If we actually look at the consonant sounds at the ends of those words, they're all different. We have k, nd, and t. The consonant sounds are changing, but the vowel sound stays the same. This is a kind of rhyme that is called slant rhyme or imperfect rhyme, and this is really the bread and butter of great lyric writing. Here's the problem though. If I asked you to come up with 10 slant rhymes for the word time in the next 20 seconds, you might actually struggle to come up with more than three or four. So we actually need a process and some resources that are going to help us access a really deep and rich pool of rhyme options. Before we get there though, there's a few other important things that we need to understand about rhyme and how it works. The other crucial thing that I want us to understand is that rhyme happens on the strong stressed syllable of a word. So I know this seems a little technical, but this is so important, so stick with me. If we look at that Taylor Swift lyric, she has rhymed the word scrutiny with the word beautifully. Here's the thing, it's not the little e sound at the end, it's not the last syllable that creates the rhyme, it's the strong stressed ooh that creates the rhyme. If I try to rhyme the word scrutiny with the word epiphany, there's like the tiniest little bit of rhyme there, but it's nowhere near as strong as scrutiny and beautifully. It's because the strong stressed ooh sound in those words is where she's focusing the attention of her rhyme. She's making sure that the vowel sound in the strong stressed syllable is the thing that is rhyming. Let's say I have a line of lyric that ends on the word walking. Here's the thing not to do. I'm not going to try and rhyme the last syllable ing. So I'm not going to rhyme walking with sting, bring, king, bling, any ing word. That is a bad way to try and rhyme the word walking. The most important thing about the word walking is the vowel sound or it's the strong stressed syllable that is going to be the focus of my rhyme search. If I do focus on that or sound in walking, I can end up with beautiful, interesting, sophisticated rhymes like haunting, falling, yawning, sprawling. All of those are infinitely better than trying to rhyme walking with stalking or rhyming walking with sting. Perfect rhyme definitely has its place and perfect rhyme is that walking, talking rhyme. It has its place in lyrics, but the bread and butter of lyric rhyming for professional songwriters and the songwriters whose lyrics you probably love is not 
perfect rhyme. It is slant rhyme, which we can also call imperfect rhyme. And sometimes I think of it as vowel rhyme. Let's dive into the two resources that you can access for free on the internet that are going to help you access a huge pool of options. So the first resource is the easiest to use, but is limited. The second resource takes a little bit more effort, but is going to give you a lot more options. The first resource is an online rhyming dictionary called B Rhymes. So B Rhymes is all about giving you interesting slant imperfect rhymes. The only problem with B Rhymes is that it's a really limited range of options. And the other thing is the algorithm that it uses will sometimes give you completely nonsensical words that don't rhyme at all. So it's not 100% reliable, but it will always give you some interesting options. I used B Rhymes just the other day to write this little 30 second love song that I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. The second resource I want to show you takes just a little bit more effort, but not much. And it's going to help you find way more options, which ultimately is going to help you write lyrics that are really expressing your ideas in interesting, original ways, rather than cornering you into saying something that you don't really mean or never wanted to say in the first place, just because it rhymes. So this resource is, of course, Rhyme Zone, which is a resource that professional songwriters use around the world. So the first thing I want you to not do in Rhyme Zone, please do not use the near rhymes filter. It's really tempting to think that that's going to give you these options. It's very, very limited. It gives you a tiny fraction, a tiny subset of the near rhyme options that are actually available for any word. So it's kind of useless. Trust me, don't use it. There is a very simple two step method that we are going to use to access a huge amount of interesting rhymes using Rhyme Zone. The first step is I need to find three different slant rhymes for the word that I'm trying to rhyme. I need to find three slant rhymes that have the I sound, but not the M sound. So very quickly, I can think of, you know, a word that ends in the sound I'd, tied. I can think of a word that ends in the sound I'd, I'd, night. And let's do another one. I can think of the word I, f, life. So I've got three search terms now, tied, night, and life. Step two is to put each of these search terms into rhyme zone. Again, I'm not using the near rhymes filter. I'm just using the regular old rhymes filter. And let's see what happens when I do that. Tied, some really cool rhymes. I get bride, cried, died, guide, pride, wide, tried. And I can also find some really nice two and three syllable words. So let's just scan this for a second. Ooh, the word collide is a beautiful rhyme. Supplied, untied, upside, interesting, wide-eyed, wild-eyed, coincide, and even some four syllable words. Ooh, intensified, interesting. All right, let's try it again with the word night and see what comes up. The words that pop out to me are always more or less going to depend on the song that I'm actually writing, the line that I have. But some words even here you can see are just going to be really easy to use. Light, despite, Fahrenheit. And let's try our last one, life. So it turns out that if isn't that great. Let's swap it for something like an S sound. So ice, price, nice, slice, twice, vice. And even if I just stuck with the first three words that I came up with as search terms, the list I have generated is much more interesting and generative than if I had either tried to just perfect rhyme the word time, <laughs> or if I had tried to come up with slant rhymes just off the top of my head. And a quick secret that might not actually be a secret at all, that's what professional songwriters do. We all use rhyming dictionaries. I've created a really simple PDF that is a chart of the different consonant sounds in the English language that you can download for free. The link is in the video notes below, and that chart will help give you ideas for your search terms. There are over 20 consonant sounds in English, and that's not even counting when we create consonant combinations. So for example, I could have looked up the word behind as a rhyme for a time, and that's a combination of n and d. So that consonant chart is going to help show you what all the different possibilities are. And then it's up to you to simply find three slant rhymes to look for in Rhyme Zone. So that is how it's done, friends. And I am also desperate to know what some of your favorite rhymes are in songs that you love. So if you want to shout out some of your faves, please feel free to post them in the comments below. If you want more on one of the other most important ways that professional songwriters use rhyme scheme, make sure to check out this video. And if you're looking to explore a few more tips on great lyric writing techniques, please check out this little playlist I've created just for you. Happy writing.